Morrison Community Hospital, with an 87-year history of mission-driven health care services, has over 150 employees and represents one of the largest employers in the region. We're also preparing to launch one of the most aggressive capital campaigns our hospital has ever undertaken. The emergency room operates in tandem with our family care clinic. Together, these facilities treat over 16,000 patients annually. In 2010, we were expecting our second child, and um, we were expected to, to deliver in the Quad Cities, and uh, we plans got changed <laughs> because uh, I went into labor very quickly, and we had to make a turnaround and head back to the Morrison Hospital, and we arrived in the ER at a little after 6, 6 a.m. in the morning, and 18 minutes later, our son uh, was born in the ER. And if we had delivered <laughs> in the car or wherever, um, he probably would not have made it. Dr. Dinka is who delivered our son, and since that time, um, fortunately or unfortunately, um, with a six-year-old boy, we have had many encounters in the ER. So, um, so we have an unusual bond with Morrison Hospital, but we are extremely thankful that such a small town has the facilities it does. Uh, welcome to our, our ER. I'm uh, Dr. Duncan Dinka. I'm uh, one of the emergency doctors who works in uh, uh, Morrison Community Hospital emergency rooms. We, uh, we provide an excellent care uh, for our patient, but like I said, this, uh, it is a big challenge for us. Especially when uh, we have a big trauma when they come here or what uh, sometimes when we have a code here and imagine uh, in this room it will be like about 12-15 uh, people in this small room so if we have patient in the first room or we have patient in this uh, in the third room uh, these patients they had to uh, we had to take them out and then uh, we start to uh, uh, deal with the uh, trauma or with the uh, code and uh, sometimes this it may uh, last for about one hour two hours so we had to take the patients uh, other patients uh, outside it's a big challenge um, definitely we need a big space uh, for our uh, er uh, better rooms uh, for our uh, er uh, you see the supplies is in, on one side so if i'm working on the bay uh, on bay three or room three uh, if i need something the nurse, she will come uh, to this room to pick up stuff and uh, uh, bring to this, uh, uh, to room three. Like if I'm doing any, suturing any wound, the stuff is in this, uh, the, all the uh, sutures or the uh, uh, suture kits are all in this side. So she had to come every time here to bring me the stuff. We need better technology. As you see, uh, we don't have monitors here. And uh, also, we don't have monitors here that we can monitor the patient without every time jumping into the room and uh, checking the blood pressure and watching the uh, blood pressure. Uh, we had to take, remove the curtain and uh, uh, talk to the patient and watch uh, the patient. And so that's what we need. We need support from the people because this is their, their hospital and we are here for them. Yes, I'm the mayor of Morrison, Illinois, and couldn't be prouder of our city. And one of our greatest assets is the hospital in Morrison. Uh, it's not only one of the largest employers in the community, it also provides very adequate health care. Uh, as a community, we're extremely fortunate to have a hospital of Morrison's type there. They are well staffed. And now with looking at improving the emergency services, it really does make us aware of the fact that our quality of life is so important. And having an emergency room there, people uh, not only that are living here, but businesses that look to locate or people that look to relocate into the community will be swayed positively towards staying and living in Morrison because of the fact that we have such a quality hospital and hopefully now a quality emergency room as well. I think what I'm looking forward to most in the new ER is having separate rooms where we can go in and treat our patients individually without everybody else hearing what's going on. I have personally witnessed the impact that any donation, small or large, can serve 
to, as far as the scope of care provided here, the foundation is here to enhance the services that the hospital provides and any, any kind of donation will definitely help. One of the great things about uh, this project is uh, we'll be able to step in the future and reassure our patients that not only are they going to get the same quality of care they, they've enjoyed throughout the years, but they'll also be able to get that care in a state-of-the-art facility um, that's private and safe uh, and very comfortable for them. And with the advancement of telemedicine, that gives our staff the opportunity to connect with specialists that are not necessarily in your immediate area. Um, what you can do is get the patients assessed and then reach out for collaboration with a higher level of care um, to get that patient inpatient. Um, sometimes that might necessarily be the case, but again, you have the resources to connect with a higher level of specialist. And in our rural communities, it really affords our patients and surrounding area with specialists that we may not have readily accessible, but again, um, connecting with those larger organization, it's almost like they're really on premise with your organization, but again, in order to do all this, we really have to give my staff the larger expansion area. Your contributions to our $2 million campaign will be tax deductible. We are, um, I'm very privileged our foundation is privileged to be able to help with this endeavor. And there is a process where you can make a donation online with morrisonhospital.com and there'll be a donation tab there and you'll also see some uh, information that will describe our foundation event that will be coming up in November. You can attend that and uh, help, help us uh, by purchasing some of the items that will be offered there in auction. If you'd also like to just have us uh, come and visit you privately, uh, we would be happy to do that. Uh, you can contact me. Again, my name is Mick, and my number is 815-772-5510. Of course, I also read emails, so you can send uh, an email to mwelding, W-E-L-D-I-N-G, at mchstaff.com. And we would be happy to come and visit with you, take you out for coffee, lunch, whatever you would like, and we'd like to talk to you more about our project.